all right so wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they giving a back-to-back -back update on how things they be on how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications so also remember to like and share this broadcast as it is hot all right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the buzz brains at the moment. Yes, as you all know, say, uh, after the lockdown, yes, after the sit at home lockdown, <laughs> it has been raining heavily, water, water, up. Upon uh, the zoo army and of course the zoo government uh, that thought that uh, none of these things that the PMBRG, i.e. Simon Ekwa, would not be able to do. And now we have shown them Shege, we have showed them the real deal, we have shown them that uh, we would be able to do anything we want to do so long as... Uh, this whole situation is concerned anything that concerns biafra land the southeast yes uh, people are in support of every single thing we are doing at the moment and they would do they would make sure that we get to the end of it no matter what happens and that is the truth of the matter we are not a set of people that will be disintegrated by what uh, this government would want to do we know as uh, even at the moment uh, the former abba state abba state where a whole lot of things started taking place as they had to they took revenge on uh, everything that had been happening and decided to kidnap little children. My people, even as I'm talking to you right now, these people are going to collect the revenge. They are going to actually feel the revenge of every single thing that they've been doing against the Biafra government or the Biafrans, uh, innocent Biafrans, has done absolutely nothing against them. They are going to feel the wrath of Biafrans, and that is the truth of the matter. Everything we've been doing has been to the end to this particular extent where we want it to be we've not done anything out of course we've not done anything that has been unusual everything has been what we've always wanted to do the pm uh, simon Edward has pushed our movement to the top of the floor he has pushed our movement to the top of where it is at the moment and if we are being very sincere with everything happening right now it is a big progress and these people do not understand that we are not stopping at any point in time we are awaiting the release of Mazin Namde Khan which we are pushing for to the end of time we cannot do all this we cannot do all this and leave our Mazin Namde Khan the disintegration of this uh, zoo country is something that is meant to happen it has been said it has been prophesied in fact every single thing that is happening right now has been said that it would surely take place and it is going to happen no matter the situation of things no matter what these people wake up in the morning and talk no matter the amount of propaganda they push against the pm we are not people that will be trifled with this particular set of people as we did so <laughs> we are not a set of people that would wake up one morning and you would want to change everything as it is already no, even at the moment as I'm talking to you right now, the PM is giving them woto woto on every single mistake they are making. Uh, we all know as a, how this uh, they are their so-called jagaban has left the correction of the country or the the, 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 the the important changes that needs to be done. And is instead what he has decided to do is to change the national anthem of the country. What the what the what the that's a, what will you call that kind of miss? placed priority because i do not understand how people your people will be suffering your people the so-called people that you, you you claim that you want to make things better for will be suffering and the, the only thing that you would tend to do is to go and change the national anthem who does it benefit who do, a little corny, like or who is going to benefit from that particular change instead things are being hard for the people masses are dying they are crying because everything has increased on a very high level ever since you became president and that is one of the core reasons why we cannot be a set of people that would sit down and watch these people what these things happen when we can be on our own we have suffered for too long we have been under this set of people for too long and we are not going to let any single thing that these people do against us pull us down no we have we have decided to make sure that even at this point where the biafra self-referendum voting has come to this extent of 30 million voters for it my people it is the biggest of it all and we are not sliding back we are not backsliding for any reason we are not going back for any reason the only thing that would make us happier is to keep going forward my people 
this is the main reason we are here this is the only and main reason why we would continue to do the expected things we need to be do, that needs to be done and we are not slacking back the pm the biafra liberation army the biafra resistance fighters every single faction of the biafra freedom of the biafra movement is working tirelessly to make sure that everything we do works the way it should actually work and my people we have a broadcast for you i hope that you listen attentively to what the pm has to say yes my people listen thank you as a free people very simple we we all have one collective aspiration and intention which is freedom only one over 70 to 80 million Biafran people worldwide have one intention and aspiration, as you can see during this ongoing self-referendum, whereby over 40 million Biafrans have voted already and is still counting. And this is just the second phase of the, of the referendum. We have not gotten to the third phase. And you know, the third phase and, first, and the first phase are always very very critical i'm going to explain it the first phase is when is a particular thing is being announced when something is is announced it is new i want you to follow just be, give me your attention please very very important when something is announced then it is new it is very very new and tantalizing everybody want to get his or her own share because this is a new idea and it is very very calling it is very very tantalizing so i want to have my own share the first phase is always like that now whether it has second phase third phase fourth phase fifth phase or whatever any amount the last phase Nine be the cocoa. The last phase is always the 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 the, the, the um how can I the sherry the sherry the last phase is all is always a rush because you don't want to miss out. That is the the target. Your target to rush to vote is that a hey, time is is you know is uh, is running out and you don't want to miss out time is running out and you don't want to miss out so second phase as we have only three phases first uh, second and third this second phase in everything not only uh, in the referendum in everything you do in life if it's divided into three stages second stage is always slow because the people who voted in the beginning who have their own time during the second stage to do uh, their own things and other people who have not voted who are still busy in one thing or the other will be waiting say okay we, say, we still have time i'm going to do my own i'm going to vote we still have time yeah i think it's it's ending you know, this the third phase they said the third phase is beginning from uh, in august they're starting the third the third stage in august so uh, this is june of course i still have my time you'll be waiting for that You'll be waiting for the third phase because you are still busy doing something. But once the third phase enter, boom, <laughs> everybody in a hurry, in a rush. So we are expecting even higher amount of people, even higher number of people to come out and vote during the third phase of the self-referendum. So for the fact that you have between first and second stages, over 40 people have already voted. Now, imagine what will happen before the end of the second phase and the beginning to the end of the third stage. Imagine what will happen. So now, and as we all can see, over these 40 million Biafrans that have voted already, the intention and aspirations of these 40 plus million people that have voted already is only but one thing which is freedom of the afra <laughs> so now that is what this statement is talking about 
So then, hereby resolved this 24th day of June 2024, OEAS, they said, they said, there will be an emergency state of the Union press briefing with the Biao GIE international lawyer, Dr. Levy, and the Biafra prime minister. Of course, Mazi Samanepa Njoku Otrizu Mangu One. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is this is huge. This is really huge. This is very, very huge. Now, who are these um who are these um let us see who are these? Who are these? Who are these O E A S? Who are these O E A S? Let us see who are these O uh, O E A S organization for um Organization of Imagine African States, uh, OEAS. So, who are these OEAS? Let us see who they are. First of all, this is their um, their logo. The Organization of Imagine African States, OEAS. Okay. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Let us keep searching. Who are these OEAS? I think we have to go to their website and check who they really are. Uh, let's go to their website and check who they are. OEAS. If you have any idea of the OEAS, please let us know in the comment section. Or, of course, let me even uh, let me drop the number. Let me drop the number on your screen so that those of you who would want to call in and make your contribution will be able to call and make your you know contribution. Very very important. If you want to say anything as I'm as I'm as I keep as I'm going as I'm uh, making my research, you have every opportunity to call. The number is right there on your screen for you to call directly on WhatsApp. So you can of course make your contribution and tell us more. Now this is the website of the Organization of Imagine African States. Organization of Imagine African States, they said about us. I'm not going to read a lot. I just want us to see what they are up to, what they can do, and what is this organization all about. You can see this is about us. The OEAS is a NGO, NGO dedicated through freedom in Africa. NGO dedicated true freedom in Africa. Our principles are encompassed, encompassed in the Washington Declaration of 2010. Our principles are encompassed in the Washington Declaration of 2010. This amazing document provides a roadmap for a free and prosperous Africa united in freedom the oeas is a registered non-profit corporation based in washington dc with a general assembly of states planned for juba south sudan then there's a prospective member states and organization organizations seeking consultative seeking consultative status may contact us at our contact email address now this is uh, about about OEAS, the uh, organization for of Imagine African States. Now, what this organization? Of course, they are domiciled in Washington D.C. So, what they do, what they do is to help and push the narrative, the desires, the aspirations of 
every people in Africa that want to be free from the colonial enslavement. That is what this organization is all about. As you can see here, they also made mention of uh, uh, Juba, South Sudan. So, that is what they do. And of course, when they come out and recognize what you are doing, it is not going to end in, you know, uh, in, it's not going to end on top of their own table. They are not just there to recognize you. I still believe that there are still other things that they can offer. There are still other things they can do in terms of push, pushing your narrative to the world. As the Prime Minister of the BRGIE always say, and I quote, that our fight for freedom is multidimensional. Is multidimensional. As we fight on ground, we also fight diplomatically. Very, very important. Very, very important. Now, as if this is not enough, I have already made a record of this very, um, you, you know, of this very news that I'm bringing right now to your screen. I have already recorded it uh, during my pre-recorded broadcast this very evening, whereby uh, LA, LA Weekly, LA Weekly is currently reporting the Biafran matters at the moment in the United States of America. Biafrans, a people in diaspora longing for a home to call their own. Longing for a home to call their own. For hundreds and even thousands of years, Africa has borne witness to huge, huge moments in human history. Current scientific evidence points to Africa as the cradle of humankind and why there is a debate on where exactly in Africa humans first emerged. The continent still plays a central role in the origin of the human race. Africa is also a land of turmoil, a land of turmoil, with the West and East African slave trade unleashing huge devastation on the continent people. Various colonial empires partitioned Africa among themselves. They partitioned Africa among themselves, started with their meeting uh, in, in um, in, is it was it Berlin Berlin yes Germany in 18 something they partitioned Africa at our own absence without our consent they divided our lands they invaded us with guns and bullets in order to join us together that is the chaos you have today in Africa now they say why the remaining local kingdoms waged war against each other Ethnic and religious conflict persist even in the post-colonial era. Now, let me bring you to this place. Let me bring you to this place. Yes. Look at here. They said, More than 50 years since the end of the Nigerian Civil War, the continuing ethno-religious tensions and underdevelopment in the region, in the region of Biafra, have resulted in a Biafran diaspora with millions of Biafrans leaving Nigeria for a better life overseas. In the United States alone, only in America, there are 4 million Biafrans. 4 million Biafrans. Do you know that there are some countries today, there are some nations nation i mean nations today that are not even up to four million people are you aware that there are some countries today that are not up to four million people even in europe in europe 
there are some countries that are not up to 4 million people in Europe. But we are talking about Biafrans, only the ones in America. Not all the American continent, not all the North American continent. We are talking about those in the USA, United States of America alone. The ones in Canada are not counted. Uh, the ones in other North American countries are not counted. Now, when you go to South America, South American continent, we are in millions over there. We are in millions. Now, if you bring Biafrans in Europe as a whole, including those in, in, in Britain, we are more than 15 million in Europe. Now, if you go to other African countries, other African countries, all over African countries in, in Africa here, we have more than 20 to 30 million Biafrans outside in Africa alone. I'm telling you. Because only Biafrans in South Africa, I don't know if there are more than these 4 million. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious about this. I don't know. I don't know how many there are. Now, let's continue. They say there are 4 million Biafrans in the USA alone. Despite the country no longer despite the country no longer existing for over 50 for over five decades the dream for an independent state still remains with a biafra republic government in exile biagie declared in 2023 with finland based simon Ekpa Njoko as its prime minister along with 200 cabinet ministers and liaison offices in many different countries especially those with significant biafran populations especially those with significant Biafran populations. Back in Nigeria, Biafrans have been holding civil disobedience campaigns in protest. What are these civil disobedience campaigns we have been holding in Biafra land that the United States of America media outlet has recognized? That very civil disobedience, the number one of them all, if not the, the only one or the main one, is the sit at home that the enemies have been fighting so hard to stop. <laughs> Are you paying attention? Somebody say Luxembourg is six uh, 600,000. Thank you. Let me bring it to the screen. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. There are some countries, even in Europe, that are not up to 4 million. And somebody is telling me that Luxembourg is 6,000 people. And I learned, I, I, I read one, uh, one, uh, one thing, I don't know if it's a documentary or what, I don't know. They said that Luxembourg, Luxembourg is the, the, the is it the richest country in, the, in Europe? Oh. I don't know there's something there is it the richest country or what something like that can you correct me those of you that live in europe i i i, I saw something sometime in the past that said that luxembourg is oh, so another person say mortar is four hundred thousand. you see <laughs> and that's funny equipo now this luxembourg that has six hundred thousand. I heard that they are, I don't know if it's richest or what. There is something they, they control as the biggest in the world. Somebody say in the world, thank you. The richest country in the world. Not even America, not China, not uh, France, not Germany, not uh, United Kingdom, not Russia, not uh, France, not Dubai. <laughs> but Luxembourg, small Luxembourg, I don't know if they are up to my village. I'm not sure if they are up to my village. But they are the richest country in the world. I don't know if it's by, by GDP. Probably by GDP or something like that. I don't know. And they are 600,000 in population. And they have no oil. They have no oil. 
they have no gas nor gold. Hmm? Now, in Biafra land, we have oil and we have gas. The gas in Izombe, many of you do not know the reason of the senseless buying of our people in Izombe over the years. The gas in Izombe, based on rating, is the largest gas deposit in entire West Africa. And since it is in West Africa, that means it is Africa as a whole. Because there is no any other country that has biggest gas in Africa than the zoo. If you join, if uh, 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 you you put you you know if you um, if you match them with the with Biafra and Niger Delta, the, the, the Niger Delta, where they call Niger Delta. So if you match them together, no country has the biggest oil in, if not in the world in the world because i can tell you tell me how many states in russia russia is is deemed as the richest oil producing country in the world right good tell me how many states i don't know what they call in russia is it state or county or uh, 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 province tell me how many states in russia today that produce oil in large quantity how many are there how many states produce oil in russia those of you that live in russia if you are here listening to me right now i need an answer how many states are producing oil in russia of course if you go to google today you ask the te top 10 oil producing country russia russia america america was told that the only place they have oil in america is in texas in texas so even if it's big or I, I I I notice that states are big. The American states are like countries, but even if they are big, but at least they are one state. It is one state. So, but in the zoo, do you know how many states producing oil in the zoo? Let me count them based on the you know the names given to them by the zoo. River State is there. Cross River is there. Akwaibom is there. Imo State is there. Abia State is there. Um, Bayesa is there. Delta State is there. Edo State is there. I don't even know Ondo State is also there. Ondo State, I think Ondo State is among the Niger Delta. Ondo State, State is there. Now, Anambra State has been recently added. Oil is found in Enugu State, which we shared the uh, the video sometime in the past, around 2020 or 2021, where fire was, you know, uh, 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 was, you know, I don't know, I don't even know. They said there is huge depo uh, oil deposit or gas deposit under the ground because we saw the fire all of a sudden. Now. If you calculate all these states, there are about 12 to 13 oil producing states under the zoo. Now tell me, how many states? I don't know. It's like there's no, nobody, is, nobody, nobody from Russia is watching this uh, live broadcast. I'm looking at the comments. I'm, I'm waiting for people from Russia. I want to know how many states are oil producing states in Russia. How many states are oil producers in Russia? Let me know. Somebody said that's gas in Enugu. Uh, 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 uh. Mwero ngu mu biafra. Mwero ngu u yitwe nji kwara afa gye. Hehehehe. Ongwa afa nji wema lagi before. <laughs> so, now, you see, how many states? About 12 to 13. Yet, they are not even rated among the top 10 oil producing uh, 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 countries in the world because of what? Corruption and the, the, the money from, from the oil is not being shown, not just in the, in the country, but also among the citizens. It's not shown. So, now, you see, Enugu, uh, Enugu, they say Enugu is gas. Fine. Very good and fine. The oil, the gas in Izombe, 
is the biggest in entire West Africa. And if it's the biggest in, in West Africa, that means it's the largest in Africa as a whole. Of course, uh, I understand you are the one, Mazi. I can see your picture. I can see that. So now, what is this? Look at this place. They said, Biafrans have been holding civil disobedience campaigns in protest. And what is that? They sit at home. That they have been fighting to stop for the past three years. They failed. The zoo government kept silent. The southeast governors kept silent. The Ohanes and Yoshi kept silent. All the politicians, House of Reps, Senators, everybody kept quiet. Nobody talked. They pretended as if the seat at home is useless. They pretended as if they, they don't care. We can sit at home till eternity. Who cares? Nobody cares. Now, some people were not aware that these people, these zoo politicians, and of course, the evil Ohane Zendioshi and other evil politicians, including the military, were all waiting to see what the DOS can do. Because ego before ego before no go be a future, go be a faka, go be a fish. Ego see to make sure that once this man is apprehended and rendition to Nigeria, nothing will happen. Nothing. We don't want to see anybody do PIM in the Afro land, in the southeast or wherever. We just want to seal it, let it be like nothing happens. Use your command and control to control everywhere. Make sure that there is serenity. Make sure there is tranquility. Make sure that there is civil uh, 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 um, uh, let make sure that there is order make sure that there is order use your command and control and calm everywhere down now when they saw the growing frustrations from beer from people they announced that 9th august uh, monday sit at home they came do gara, 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 gara. at least let us show them we are doing something we are not just you know keeping quiet hey, if you don't release person i i, I had chinas and Uru shouting on top of his voice on the radio fulani hey, if you don't release Mazin nam de Kano by the 9th of august every nook and cranny of biafra land will be under look a uh, lock, uh, lock and key we are we are jumping up and down. I am the one Burianisi. If any, the Queen Simbukam Bukakambuzi. Burianisi, now shout on top of my voice on Biafra United Channel. Now shout every day. Sit at home, can they Buzi Makia? Until that very day, 9th of August 2021, 2021. I made us sit at home. Everywhere was on fire. Everyone, they never knew that such announcement could have, you know, gathered such mo such such momentum. They never knew that that move they, they 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 made would have gathered such momentum. Everywhere was completely locked down, completely shut down, including Iguacha and other places in the place they call South South. Those that bought them over, call them immediately and ask them, are you mad? Is this our agreement? This is not our agreement. <laughs> Please, if you haven't shared this very broadcast, I don't know what you're waiting for. Endeavor to do so, please. Very, very important. Those that bought them over, Call them immediately. Are you insane? Is this our agreement? Stop it immediately. The first thing they did was to tweet through their their Fulani boy in Ghana called the Mapa Wallace. They, 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 he tweeted. They, they, no, the first thing they did, <laughs> because I, 